A state transaction gone bad leaves a woman waiting for her money back from the city of St. Louis. And with time ticking and her patience fading, she called Contact 2 for some help. Our Mike Colombo shows us how he worked to get answers and action. The city of St. Louis holds land tax sales five times a year at the Civil Courts building downtown. The properties are up for grabs because their owners have not paid property taxes for four years. Last year, Neshobi Payne took part in one of the auctions. You identify which houses you want and you show up at the tax sale, you bid on it, either you win the bid or you don't. This particular parcel, I won. Or so she thought. In March, she found herself in court over this North City property. And the court determined that the city did not have the right to sell the property and that it would revert back to the previous owner, which was fine. So I'm like, okay, St. Louis City, I would like my money back. They have not given it back. That's where Contact 2 comes in. Neshobi wrote us an email asking for help getting answers and action regarding the more than $10,000 she says she's owed. She tried numerous times to advocate for herself. Voicemails, I've showed up. They defaulted to the comptroller. Wait another two weeks. No results. So I go back to the sheriff's office and they're like, oh, we have a new system. It's not working right. We have to get it figured out. I just want my money back. That's all. We took Neshobi's concerns straight to St. Louis Sheriff Vernon Betts. Betts invited me inside to get to the bottom of it. 20 minutes later, with assists from the sheriff's staff and comptroller's office, we learn the check is in the mail and should arrive at Neshobi's any day now. I wanted you to be able to see how the process works so that you could report that and, and it be authentic. And uh, I think that just helps to uh, add to the credibility of the sheriff's department. The sheriff's office blamed the holdup on a new system the city is using to process everything from invoices and payments to payroll for city employees. Anything that we can do to, to uh, move that process along and, and everybody's happy with, with participating. That's what we want to do. I'm uh, really happy that the young lady, things are going to work out for the young lady and anybody in St. Louis who has problems with the land tax sale or issues uh, pertaining to that, just come down and see us and we can always work it out. An offer we'll be sure to take the sheriff up on if the situation warrants. I'm Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News.